those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Okay, guys, um, before I start this video, as I start, I apologise because normally I'd have somebody helping me, but due to the uh, lockdown restrictions, I'm on my own, so I'm um, you just have to put up with a bit of camera sway and uh, a bit of eagerly pokery with the camera itself because <clears throat> I'm on my own. So, anyway, this so uh, that's that out of the way, and here's the cover in the bottom wing. Um, so, uh, for, first of all, I thought I'd show you to try and pan it in best I can is that. What you do is you just obviously size up the piece you need for the wing. I always put a piece of tape here, just a bit of masking tape to hold it in place. And as you can see there's these pegs here, the four pins that hold the actual struts onto the wing. So basically once you've got it over the fulham, you basically feel for it. And you basically get your scalpel and put a little cross nick on the top to push through the bolts. Through this fulham, okay? And then like I said in the previous video, there's bits of fulham underneath that I've put. So that if you do go over to cut it too far, You've got a place to stretch it over it and you won't see the gap in, in the film so much because there's something covering under the wing. Okay, so that's basically really you know, you just gently push it over, okay, and that way you've got it in more roughly in position. Okay, so that's that. So we'll, we'll have to again, like I say, have to remove the camera and do whatever you do with this. Oh, wrong way. So we're just gonna point out the next bit, which is here. So this is the uh. This is concentrating on the edge of the wing. So, other people probably do it differently, like I keep saying, because you never know. But I start at the bottom of the wing here. So, so what, and I might add, it's absolutely freezing in here. So, you got your wing, the bottom of your wing, and you're just keeping it as straight as you possible with a tape in hand. You just tack the edges where you can see them. So, there we go. Then temperature, I've turned the temperature up a bit on this, so it's 130 degrees on the iron. So take a bit. So you're just getting a nice, you tap, I always just tack it flat, just trying to not get any creases, but they'll come out in a way, which eventually work around it. Oh, they're not in the way. Let's see, I'll just check some it. Oh, you can't really see it from there, so. You just basically going around the whole way. If I get in my way of myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can get the general gist of what I'm doing anyway, so. Seems. Right, so. I mean, this is, I believe, people fear this bit the most on covering a wing is the edges. So, that's what I thought I'd just show you. And right, doing the top wing this is more or less the same as the bottom, but I always start at the bottom first. Okay. You get it nice now. Uh, whilst I'm doing this uh, talk, Ian, on my previous videos, I have had a comment, I believe, somebody commenting and saying that the video, some of the videos are long. Well. I've, my editor, which is my son, has pointed out that he's put in so that when you want to watch, I mean, I think the video on Bill of the Sock with Camel, I think, is that, like I've reiterated before, these videos I originally put on for Facebook, just the people that follow me on Facebook, you know, on the different various groups that you get, and uh, I had no intention ever of using a YouTube, you know, I never thought about it at the time, because A, I didn't know how to do it, and B, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really that bothered, I was just wanting to show the guys on my Facebook groups that uh, how to go about it, you know, fair own enthusiasts. So a lot of the videos were just done mainly basically for that reason, you know, so a lot of them ain't edited properly and they're not uh, they're not geared up for that channel. But <coughs> even so people have asked uh, to put them on. So I thought I'd start with to get it up and running. I put I put the video on of uh, the sock with camel that I've obviously completed a long time ago. And um, and uh, just to get it going, you know. So yeah, we've put it on so that it's mostly, because it's complete, I've put everything on in sections on one video so people don't have to wait. I, I, I believe the, the, the normal of it is you put a video on once a week or twice a week. 
which I don't mind, that's fair enough when I start, like for example this build, or well, this, this refurbishment, then that will be different, I'll do it. But I just thought it would give somebody something to watch, you know, because it's new. I'm not going to be bored waiting in anticipation for the next video, you know. And plus it's already done, so what's the point of holding out, you know. So that's the reason why they're long. Some were short and long, but anyway. So the next instalments go up to show it complete because it's built. If that makes sense. So I apologise to people up there. I mean, you can always pause it and go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> okay. So there you have that end right. Because it's the bottom wing, it doesn't matter if you go right over. You'll we'll see. But I tend to do this because it makes it easier. So there you go. So I'll just try and zoom in on that if I can. Just show you. Bear with us. If I zoom in on it, just get it right way. So you see now that's, so it's basically wrapped around because obviously now you're going to track the rest of it down. So leave it all right. I mean, you could trim it now if you want with a blade, but I do that at the end, basically. So now we've got it like that. So we'll go back to the, the way. I'm going to move it around a bit now. So I'll try and do it gently and slowly. So now what we do is, just, what we I don't do now is because you've got it up there, you're going to track it down here. Right, so this is this is quite simple. I just make sure I'm not in the way of this camera, which I probably will be. So you just, you just run your iron down, track it down the middle, but not right to the end for a minute. Right. So you got it there, see? I mean, once you've done this a couple of times, you'll realise just how simple it really is. You know, you know, depending on your covering. I, I, as people will probably learn once they've watched these videos or, or see me on Facebook and that. They'll notice that I usually tend to use, I tend to use fabric coverings such as solar textiles or a text as it is now, you know, because I, I, I prefer it. And I'm usually the planes I build are need that kind of covering, you know, because of World War One stuff, and, and that's the fabric to imitate the fabric they used, any Irish linen type. Right. So you've run around one end. So now I tend to take take off. So you can straighten it out as best you can, because obviously it's going to track because you've done the end of the wing first, so that's not a problem. Right, so you can play with it now, basically. There you can go. And it doesn't matter if you've got some, if you get like crinkles in it, you don't have to have it as tight as a drum because basically the heat gun and the, the, the will and the iron will take that out with this stretch. Try and feel your way along to find the edge of the when the other ones run. Okay. I will say another thing about Hobby King film, yeah? It, if you're not careful, if you've got a sharp part on your iron like there, it, it tends to scratch the, the covering. So you, if you've got a sock to put on it, then use it if you want. And just turn the temperature up a bit more. But I'm so used to using it without a sock. Uh, you know, and a lot of this is going to be covered over with another set of covering on top. So it doesn't really matter at this point. I didn't want to see it anyway, it might be a thing now. Okay, so there you have it, so you've trapped that in now. Can you see? I mean, you go over it a thousand times if you want. Right, let's see, we've got it nice enough, so it's a good tack on it. So, uh, that's what channel is talking their YouTube channel. I am really excited about it. I must admit, I should have. That's a few other comments said you should have done it years ago. Well, you know, there's a lot of things you should have done, I suppose. But now I've started it. It's nice to get some nice comments, you know, from other fellow builders as well who are on it, which is which is nice to see. You know. And I've, so far, I've got 67 subscribers, which to me is a lot, <laughs> which is probably nothing in the reality of face. Facebook and YouTube, but for me it's quite exciting. So the more subscribers, I suppose, the better. You know, but if people don't want to subscribe, then I mean, they can't force them to. Can you let them get on with it? Um, see, they just pull that back a bit like that. See, you don't get, you don't get it creasing there. Don't matter about the middle bit. That will not be seen. And that costs nothing to describe anyway, does it? So why bother? Right. 
So like I said in the previous video, we put a little corner bit in there, so it doesn't mean preferably you want to save, I want to try and save some of this, if we cut it to there, so. Probably, if you look at the save in your funnel, I mean, there you go. And then just store it up upside down so it doesn't stick to itself. All the way like that. Okay, so we're now onto the corners. Just make sure I've got you in there. Oh, what I give for a cameraman now. Yeah, you're in the right place. So just cut an angle there, out to the corner. Save that one. Okay, and then you want to it's trim it. See, it? the other good thing with this stuff is as well, because the heat's already out on it, it tends to self-adhere to it, you know, to the actual like so. So that gives you a chance to get the gun on it. But you only get one crack at that. Alright, right, so on one side. Okay. So on the other side. Let's trim the edges there. Hinges. So you're gonna have as I take it over the hinges so it doesn't really matter. Here. Right, so you do it two ways then. I'm gonna go this way. Just probably not this way. Too far because we can't move it. Right. Right. Right, so you look for where your hinges are to there. So you just cut by your hinges. Check it out to the hinge. I might add as well, if you get, you know, expect to be burnt by the iron, right, I think it's like a, it's just part and deal, if you don't get burnt by the iron, you're either extremely lucky, it's, it's like the old, so it seems just so they get the needle finger, you know, you know with a pin, but you <laughs> I think you just, think you never get used to getting burnt, don't get me wrong, but after a while, you just accept the inevitability that you're going to slip, and you and that just happens, and so just accept it, you know, 
just prepare yourself even for the eventually like one day it might happen and it does sting usually it stings but you get used to it so it's good. Right, so we've got that so we've got your sharp blade and you, I don't know if you'll see it on there but you're running you just gently run it underneath just, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go because it's basically there see let's take a because this is the bottom end of the wing so we're going to be seeing okay Now to the hinges, turn the iron down the hinge bit there, lift off the creases. <sighs> Make sure you've got a sharp blade on these because you don't want to cut the hinge. I've had you before. Just temper it in like so. So that's that bit, right? And then same with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that on the camera? Yeah, just about. So we've got that bit. So make sure it's all on. I mean, you can overlap it on the other wing, but it'll show through, and I don't think that looks good. So you just get your blade in. There. And you see? And done. That's what I said with a little plate there so it doesn't slip. You're just basically repeating the process round and around of the actual area of the wing. But there is bits left to show you. So. Right. So just turn the plane around. Now this is the bit of my name. So I'll get in the way now. Sorry. Just getting it down. It's getting home. I mean, I don't, I don't know if Bobby King still sell this stuff because it's been so long since they've had this film for years. I'm not sure they do, but I don't know these days. So, that's that. So, you've lined that up now, same as you did with the other side, but yeah. So, then you get it and you run it down the edge of the trim, the edge of the wing. Take your time because I'm rushing it with it. I mean, I might add, someone else asked me, first they asked, I didn't actually build this plane, okay? It's just a retrofire. Um, the chap who built it, it's a, a good friend of mine's dad, and, uh, you know, it, it's been sitting around for a while. It's a basic history of this, and his son, my mate, asked me if I'd refurbish it for his dad, like, you know, his dad's, getting, his dad's uh, so we say, getting it up in age. So, He's done it as an opinion of another fellow builder. He's, he's built this plane was built somewhere in the seventies, and he's done a lovely job on it. I must admit, you know, and you know, I'm only just repairing bits that have uh, replacing bits through age that have gone here. You know, I mean, it's 30, 40 years old. So, so but you can see the, the workmanship that's gone into it originally, and uh, you know, and especially in them days, it didn't have after fangled stuff we got now. So you know, fair play. That's all I can say, it's pretty cool. I must say that. I don't want to take credit for that. And plus, it's nice to work on something different, you know, for a change. I'm so used to working with biplanes. So. Anyway, so we get the edge of the wing here. This is the bit everyone wants to see, I believe. So it's the same thing, just trim it round with a sharp blade. 
See, nothing to it. Nothing at all. It will take time. And that is that. So we've got that far. So far, so good. So we're nearly there, but there's little things I probably must show you. So that looks a bit rabbit but you know, when you put the iron on, it all just trim it off. Do it like that, you just trim off. I think as well with covering, I find covering probably my favourite part of the build of a plane, really. Definitely my favourite, because I don't think it's just because I'm a decorator, but I don't know the for it. But you see the outcome, you see. I mean, as I've said previous videos, you, you, sometimes I think, with the camel, was, uh, well, not the camel, so much stuff with Dove I built. I put a picture on it without any covering and it looks so beautiful, all the workmanship, you know, all the woodwork and stuff that have gone into it and it is a shame to cover it because it looks so pretty but unfortunately it won't fly very well without covering so that's why I think the covering afterwards it looks good anyway, I can't half wrap it, don't I, but I can't help it, it's better to sit in silence so now we've got the basics on, it's all tacked now what I tend to do is, is that I go around and tack practically the edge of the wing all the way around not you know to give it as much adhesive as possible but not too far if that makes sense so you just go where it's not going to crease with the iron this is basically just to give it a bit of strength so when you put the top part on it's got it something to grip okay and you don't want to risk warping the wing either so it's, right so you've done all that right and you've got it lovely so the things now to find is what I, this is one of the reasons why I put uh, let's try and get this to make sure I've got this on properly now because this is important right, bear with this right the reason I put bits underneath as well is what I to do before I do any heat shrink is I, I just tap on I adhere the bottom piece that I put on underneath the bolts right that little piece of square I showed you on a previous video just give it a bit of a tack to the top covering okay and this is because when you go out to stretch it with the uh, iron or the gun you, it, it, well, it releases the risk of splitting the phallum where the screw's been and it's cut round the bolt see what I mean so it just adheres, it gives it a bit of extra strength from it splitting you know like bonding two pieces of surfaces together like two bits of wood uh, and that's why I do it so you see that way it stops it through the heat in case you get too much heat on one spot. Now that's that bit done. So the next thing you've got to do is you've got to trace out what I do. It's probably people do it differently, but for me, there it is. This is where the servo is going. So you make the frame around the servo, which is there. Okay. This is where the servo is going. So you don't need tension that bit yet. Just there. And you'll see why. It's just there, it has to be. Turn the wing upside down. Not breaking it. Yeah, it didn't sound good, did it? Right. Not a bolt. Right, just make sure still got it in there. Right, not quite. So we've got that. Come on, Mr. Cameraman, where are you when you need you? Right. I think I'm in. We're nearly there, guys. I know it's a bit of a long winded video, but we're there. Right, this is where the servo is. So basically, you get your X, make a cross section in there, like so. Okay, that's for your servo, obviously. We're nearly there. So, turn it around. There, right. So, and then basically you've got it there, uh, so you just fold that back onto the framework. We insert so. That's that. Right. Right there. See? That. Turn it back around. And then the little tail end, you just tap down the tail ends with the iron so you've got it script. we put the servo in, that's why you've got them in there. 
ไม่ต้องอีกไหนคือว่าเนี่ยครับสวัสดีสุดท้าย Happy house man's meant to be. Right, and that, that, that's where you have it. And there's your wing covered. Now, my golden rule, as everyone knows, if you've been watching before, is how many other builders tend to think, right, let's just heat shrink it all and do it now. Whereas I won't do that, you see. A, I'm going to put the servo in, like I did on the other side, and bolt that in to make sure it's all uh, working. You know, both servos work. <coughs> and then I cover the top wing, doing the edge because it's all sealed. And now my golden rule to myself is, is basically, then you heat shrink both sides at once, you know? So that way it, re it uh, re reduces the risk of warping the wing. Uh, I suppose others would say it wouldn't warp, but I don't want to take that chance. So, and to be honest with you, in all the years I've been doing this, I've never had one wing warping me once through covering, like, the way I do it. So I, I'd say for myself only, it's a proven uh, theory for myself, you know? So, um... There you have it. So they similar that um, I think that's basically the wing covered. Best I can do. Let's just make sure it's back there. Okay. Oh, again, I apologise for the video standard, but when you've got on in me, it's difficult. So that's that. Ready to be heat shrunk when I put the top covering on. So whilst I'm at it, save doing another video of covering. Well, that's a pointless issue. The difference with doing the top covering on the top wing is is that when I started on the edges on the end on the end because it's going to be one whole sheet you basically cover it again you just measure the whole lot and give yourself access at the end but because it's got a bevel in it like uh, the dihedral even you, t you, you really want to uh, start in the middle and work out it's just reverse of what you're doing there really you know but that's basically it you just tack it. so you've got a gun just roughly you get your piece here and you, and you, you can either start in the middle and tack it and work out <clears throat> you know, because obviously this bit's going to be seen, so you want this is as tidy as possible, you know? So you start a bit, and then you work out, and then when you get to the end, you, you are just playing with it, you just let it go round, you know, tack at the very top, just slightly, you know, and then work your way around, you know, and you won't get any creases, and if you do get a crease, you just pull it back and just keep doing it, you know? I mean, you can try and do it the other way, like we did on the previous bottom wing, start there and do the whole sheet right down, but you're still going to have the same problem the other end. So you basically start in the middle, get it all nice and square, and then go for it. Okay? So, if we, you know, that should be it. I might do a video of the end bit to show you how I do it, so that it sort of alleviates the issues. Okay, so that's that, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm off to work now, I believe. Okay, right then. Right, and everybody stay safe, especially in Britain where we're in this major lockdown lock. Okay, and everywhere else actually, for that matter of fact. All right, and bye. Those magnificent men, those magnificent men, those magnificent men.